Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. We have been blown away with the response to our new proofreading feature in Dorico 6, and we're thrilled that so many of you are enjoying it and finding it useful. We've heard your feedback that you would really appreciate being able to ignore certain proofreading issues. And I'm delighted to say that we've found a way to let you do that. In Dorico 6.0.20, when you hover your mouse over a proofreading issue, a new button that looks like an eye appears. Clicking the button ignores that issue, removing it from the list and allowing you to continue working through the issues until no more remain, either because you've fixed them or decided to ignore them. When you have ignored at least one proofreading issue, you're able to show the ignored issues, which appear with this muted styling. What's more, you're then able to return the issue to an active status. You can also click this button to clear all ignored issues at once. Now, just be aware that due to the same original reasons that we didn't previously allow the ignoring of proofreading issues, if you add or remove time within a flow, perhaps by inserting or deleting bars, then issues may become active again. It's the combination of a type of issue at a specific location that is being ignored. So it's just something to be aware of. When you click an issue in the proofreading panel, it now becomes selected. This means that you can define key commands to move up and down the list and also to ignore the selected issue and to toggle showing ignored results. Dorico 6.0.20 is available now, so please do update today. It's free to everyone with Dorico 6. And of course, being a maintenance release, there are lots of fixes and improvements to benefit from, as well as a few other small feature enhancements, such as being able to change the scale factor of capo chord symbols and new filters for notes with double or triple sharps or flats. We do hope you enjoy the update. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.